Good day. Today we're going to learn how to use the set SRM command and how to use it in a main view batch environment. So the set SRM command is actually a methodology for progressing through views. So if I was to start at the easy SRM menu and I was to type in SP pool, for example, I get a list of my storage groups and pools. This is based on historical or last interval collected. But if I wanted to know something in terms of uh, much more recent, like uh, for my ML1s, for example, or even my catalog pool, uh, which was much earlier in the day, and I want to see what it looks like now. So let's just take the ML1 pool, and I'm going to put my cursor on it, and I'm going to go get group and pool analysis and then do my group and pull stats. So this is a real-time uh, request it's running a scan in the background to go get that information. So this is exactly what this particular pool looks like right now. Now there were set, SM, set SRM commands that were used to actually get this, so the navigation to get this data and drill down. So if I was to type in set SRM to understand the keywords and values used to get this information, if I hit enter, it's going to come back with the dialog and it's going to give me the information for uh, everything that was used to get that particular real time view. So let's just scroll through. I've got a date of 325 2020, which is today's date. The group is HSM ML1. A group store is HSM ML1 also. The difference here is group is used for one instance group store is a multiple group so i could i could group uh additional groups here comma tso comma uh product comma you know something else and just keep keep doing it and the group type is pool this just signifies uh a group information within srm because uh, it's uh, not a storage group all right and then down here, I've got the time is 0900. This was actually when it was actually first collected. Remember, it said 9 o'clock. It's not based on today, the current time, but based on the time that I started with. So, and then the token is Fox, 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 Fox. Now, when we do scans of volumes and pools, a real time scan gets a token ID of Fox, 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 Fox. Other scans would get uh, a token ID uh, of some other value. Uh, it's a four-digit character, um, and it's and it's incremented up. So it would start at one, and then it goes two, three, four, and so on, so on, so on, so that you know which one you're working with. And then the type is pool because this is an SRM pool, not a storage group. So I have all this information. So you know I'm going to write this down. I'm going to say okay. I know that I've got I've got a group, so it can be abbreviated G, or I can spell it out as group. I've got a token ID of Fox, 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 Fox. The type is storage group. Um, the view, so go back to the view. We're going to end out of this. The view was actually uh, VSG stat. So VSG stat is a real time view all right and it goes and gets the information so we're going to put this set srm command together we're going to put this into a main view batch job that we could schedule write this out to an output data set and we could schedule this so that we get uh information maybe we're monitoring storage groups and we wanted to know uh certain times of the evening uh when 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 uh the, the particular statistic was um, something that we may not be doing on a regular basis because we're not sitting at our desk and we want to keep up with what's going on. Uh, there are many ways to use the set of SRM commands, but we're going to go and set one up into main view batch. So we go to our batch reporting option. We go to MVI batch reports. Um, we have to do a setup because we have to generate a job card and some other information. This is already set up within within my system. This is the C list that we're executing. Uh, our CAS subsystem ID is BBCS. I'm going to write this 
to an output JCL library so I can save the JCL that I create and the work file is VIO. All right, so I'm gonna hit enter and PF3, that gets me out of that. Now I'm gonna generate the information. So we're gonna give this a JCL name. Um, we're gonna call this VSG stat instead of test, all right? We're gonna write this to an output data set. This output data set already exists. And the product is always gonna be MVSRM. So we've got the set SRM command, and then it's a space and then group. We're gonna get rid of, because we're gonna do this as a multi-line multi, multi -line report. So we can uh, highlight this. Let's highlight that, cut and paste it. And we'll go down to the second line. We'll paste that in. And we'll go down to the third one, we'll paste that in. And we're gonna do one for uh, DB2. So we're gonna get our DB2 and we're gonna do IMS, all right? So we have our set SRM command for the group TSO. Type is storage group. The token is Fox, 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 Fox. And our view is VSG stat. So we'll do each one of these so that we can get a report on each one of these particular storage groups. We're gonna hit PF3 to save this, create our JCL. So here's our JCL right here. And we see that when we get down here to the batch command, we have one line for TSO, one line for DB2, one line for IMS. There's our output data set right here. It's an ex external DSN. All right, we're gonna do 60 lines per page. And instead of doing a CSV formatted uh, output we're going to do uh, as is. All right, so here's our JCL that we've created. I'm going to put my prefix in here. Uh, you would not normally have to do this uh, with most main view installations, but um, I have to here because I don't have prefixing turned on. All right, so we're going to sub this up. We've got this subbed. We've saved our JCL. We go over here. Here's our report. Uh, we're going to take a look, wait for this job to run. Should just take it just a couple of seconds. So we'll wait here for this. And then when we have it, we have an output data set that we can use to do any type of batch reporting using the set SRM command. And of course, the set SRM command can also be used on the command line if I know what kind of report I want. So job still running. Uh, systems may be a little slow today. There we go. That's finished. Let's browse our report. There we go. So you'll get your command at the top. There's TSO, there's DB2, and there's IMS. And as you see, the time is right now at 15.22.38, 15.22.44, and 15.22.51. Now we have our real-time report of three storage groups exactly what they're doing right now at this particular moment or when the batch job ran thank you and have a nice day